Hey, before the video starts, I just want to say thank you guys who have been DMing me for coaching. And I, I really enjoy like meeting all of you and watching you improve throughout the game. It's been really cool. And a lot of you DM me like with your new ranks that you were able to reach, which is it's really cool. It's really cool. I, I appreciate it a lot. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the support. And if you, you want coaching, Please DM me down below. My this Discord's in the description. My Twitter, and it's ten dollars an hour. You get one free hour, so you get at least two hours if you spend ten dollars. Pretty good deal in my opinion. And yeah, let's get into the deck. All right. So today I have a Battle Tree deck for you guys. For those of you who were not like have not been around for a while or are new to the game, don't know what Battle Tree is. Um, the deck is basically based around this card where you create a follower from a new region in hand and you win the game if you summon units from 10 regions. So it's an alt win con deck that's actually pretty good. And I like alt win cons. I love Fiora. I lo okay, Star Spring. Honestly, I didn't like Star Spring that much, but that's because Star Spring was very like auto buildy. And yeah, but I did like Fiora when she was in the game, like meta. And I like, th I like this deck. This deck's really cool. And yeah, I'm happy to share it with all of you. So basically, you try to play followers from ten regions. That's why like the ratios of this is like not as common as you would see from other decks. There's a lot of two ofs that because you're playing these cards mainly for the for the regions and accelerating the battle tree win con. There is an alt win con because like if you fight something with scorched earth, you kind of need an alt win con. Very bad matchup still, but the alt win con is basically you swarm them with units and you try to kill them by going wide. And that's kind of it. But yeah. So you play a bunch of these multi region units and then you win the game with the Mantle Tree. Firstly, we have Group Shot. This is, in my opinion, at least a 2 of in the deck, like auto 2 of. I like it as a 3 of. It's pretty much removal. You go very wide, very fast with this deck. So it's pretty much usually a 1 mana deal to you. And if not, it's just 1 mana deal 1, which is also kind of nice at fast speed. We have Kennen. You do not really use Kennen for level up or the mark. If you want to play Kennen that way, you should play Ari Kennen or another Kennen deck. This deck just uses it because it's Ionia and it is pretty much the best Ionia card for the deck. Before Kennen um, came out, we had to run, I believe, Vandal Commando is the best one because you generate Owlcats as your Ionia card. and. That was the best Ionic card, but Kennen is a lot better because you don't have to get a strike off and it's one mana and it's a very good one mana card. Two one quick attack, very nice. Clock, one of the best Noxus control cards in the game and you're running the control cards for Noxus because you want to stop the game so you can win Battle Tree, right? So yeah, it also combos nice with Sentry. Um, it combos with all your pings with Group Shot and Pokey Stick. So yeah, this is this one mana deal for and you can pretty much meet the condition every time for the most part. There's like 90% of the time you'll be able to, to block your opponent without like having to do much. Like you just sentry or pokey stick or or they just block into your unit and you can block them. So that's it's really nice. We have Bomber Twins as the Shrima card. Sometimes it generates you a use a useful landmark, but most of the time it's useless. I'm gonna be real. Most of the time you get like Ripper's Bay and you're very sad. But I mean, sometimes it's useful. Uh, Grumble Slug, it's your Bilge Water card. It's you, We used to run Fizz um, back in the day, but we use all the champion slots now. Fizz, I think, is better than Grumble Slug, but you just don't have space for it. And yeah, we run these multi region cards as 2 0s because you don't really want to like double draw them because they're not that good cards alone. They're just here to fulfill the, the Bandle Tree win con. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A spider is the only like three of for the just purely for the regions because it's actually a really good card and it gives us Noxus and Shadow Isles, which is really nice. So yeah, House Spider, Pogger, Poggers into Aggro as well as a blocker. It's, it's really nice. Two two blockers for price of two mana, amazing. Telescope Targon card and Telescope's one of the better like multi-region cards in the deck. Because it generates broken cards. Oftentimes, it can generate you like alt win cons. The celestial cards are, are broken. Epic cards, usually not broken, but can be broken. Like you can generate like a Ferran off this and win the game on turn eight. 
multi and you know if not you can get a multi-region follower that like you don't have you don't have a build card it generates a build card for you sometimes which is you know it's pretty nice so it's, it's also three of in the deck along with house spider are those the only ones? Yeah, those are the only ones. Okay. Next we have Pokey Stick, Auto 3 of and Battle City Ducks. This card is busted. Just 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 run it. Sentry has a one of. You can if you want you could like do like this. Because this is a pretty good card. It's like we're in Noxus, so we might as well take piece of this. And it's co combination with Flock. And even if you don't have Flock in hand, it's just a nice stun. You can even use this aggressively, because if you're going wide, giving your opponents one less blocker, it's like really huge you can push for lethal with it as well <clears throat> so don't only use this defensively use it offensively as well when you can final city mirror this card basically it, it used to be super broken because it it discounted every single unit like no matter but now it only discounts the first unit you play the first multi-region you play so it's not as broken but it's still an auto three of and it generates you a multi-region unit because you won't consistently draw all 10 regions right so you need this generation to to like fit in the missing pieces because you, you don't actually want to use the vandal tree to generate the missing followers maybe like one or two at most but usually you want <clears throat> you want to like fulfill the condition before you play it down right or like most of it at least we have scorched earth this is <laughs> good in the mirror please keep this in the mirror because <clears throat> getting rid of one of your opponent's vandal trees is insane and it's really good as well because we have a lot of pinks <clears throat> we have group shot and pokey sticks and if they block you can just kill their unit like you can like pokey stick scorched earth a leviathan and it feels good <clears throat> aloof this card is really good into high cost stuff that you need it's also really good in the mirror because it either hits battle tree or mini morph and if they keep mini morph it's you can keep mini morph just to like protect your tree from aloof like that's how good this card is in the mirror. Um, it's a two of because it got nerfed from a three, three, four to a two, three. So the stat line is not great, but this is a super good tech card, and you oftentimes actually take it from mirror in matchups that you need it. Like against Feel the Rush, for example, like they'll never feel the rush because you just aloof, aloof, aloof their Feel the Rushes away, and yeah, that's usually their most expensive card. So the way you use this, by the way, most people like like. Not most, but a lot of people jam this card on four. You want to use it <clears throat> before the turn their key card comes out. So if a, you're, if you're on turn seven and it's your attack token, that means this, <clears throat> and you're against Swain, you know they, they have Leviathan on turn eight. So you want to aloof on turn seven. But if you're first on turn eight, you want to aloof on turn eight because they, they have to play their Leviathan after you play your aloof, right? So think about it like that. <clears throat> aloof is super good. And a lot of players use this card completely wrong. We have triple buster shot. This card is great removal because you fulfill the condition very easily, obviously, because you're playing multiple regions, so it's really easy to fulfill this. Like you play like house fighter and like a telescope and then it's done. You're, it's two mana. <clears throat> so two mana DL3, really good. Nar. It's a failure card and you can also level Nar up like pretty easily in this deck with Pokey Stick. Uh, actually, it's not as easy as other deck. I guess it's like mainly Pokey Stick, but it's it's still fairly easy. And you go wide, so on the turn you play Nar or the turn after you can attack and you'll probably level it up. But you know this this deck isn't an, like just for Nar. Nar is just a super good failure card. As before, we had to run Proto Poro, which is it's, it's not good. Um, it's it's this is not um it, it was not it. But yeah, Nar is super good. To fulfill the, the failure spot and yeah poppy also good demasi everyone knows poppy got nerfed she's not like amazing anymore but she's still a good card you, you have a wide board you buff like most of your units with this the only thing you don't buff is like bomber twins but you buff everything else oh essentially you don't buff century but it doesn't matter <clears throat> oh you don't buff Minar. okay that's fine but yeah you buff everything else and she is your demasia card in the in the list because the other demasia card if you want to run like Fizzle over Poppy, you know you don't want to run this. Grumble Slug is a lot better pillage card, and this is why we use all the champ slots, because uh, there's no not a better uh, Ionia card than Kennet. Actually, I did see pe if you do want to run Fizz over Grumble Slug, <clears throat> there is a Fae card I think that I can recommend. The Blast Cone Seedling. 
You can run blast cone ceiling. I've seen a version where they, instead of cannon, they run this. And you run fizz. But I prefer the cannon version, so... Yeah. Um, cannon and grumble slug. We have Bando Tree, it's our win con, I talked about it. And then Mini Morph, just really good into super big, tall units that they invest a lot into. Like, I don't know, Lee Sin. Lee Sin's the biggest example in the meta. So, yeah. Um, That's it for the guide. Um, Yeah, let's get into the game. Alright, um, we're against Darkness. Sorry, I did <laughs> launch the Jack Tracker for this one, because... Yeah, I really recommend playing this deck with the deck tracker. It really helps you like count what you need, um, how many, like what regions you need for your tree. Uh, this is an easy full mole, but I'm just kind of killing time for my deck tracker to launch. To be honest. <laughs> okay. Um. Not bad. We do have something to block Catalyzer, which is nice. On two. Very important in the Darkness matchup. Give me your malice creatures of doom! Okay, so we're gonna telescope here. Um we could slug, but telescope gives us a better trade. Hmm, could take tenor, we don't have our Shadow Isles card yet. Charger. Yeah, we'll take the Tenor. We'll take the Tenor. For those who don't know, if Tenor is the card it created, it's hope. It does count, and it will create the base. Ooh, maybe we don't play Tenor at all, actually. It's fine. Um, I haven't played the House Spider here. And yeah, I recommend again you have a dock open with all the regions. So right now I would have Targon. I mean. You don't have to write down Bando because you'll pretty much always have that, but Targon, Nox, and SI. Pass. Don't really have anything else to do this turn. Our attack doesn't look that juicy. We do burn one mono, which is nice. So Nox. Um, <laughs> can block like this. Interesting, actual. Sh he, he actually used stress defense there. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> We're gonna save this for the Vagar. Good Poppy here. Poppy is a sort of Demacia. Mm. <coughs> I do want to threaten Vagar if he plays it though, so. We'll do. This will actually grumble slug, I think. Give us our build. <clears throat> we keep Pokey Scorched up. Okay, so no Vagar this turn, which is very good for us. So we can play a second House Spider just to build a board for Poppy and be mono efficient. And now he kind of has to deal with this Poppy, and it's not easy for him. I just know the heroes <clears throat> around here somewhere. He has no darknesses in hand. <clears throat> His darkness does deal three, but it's slow. So we're gonna ooh mini mark. That's really good for us. We can full attack because if he gets greedy, we get more damage, and we get to Pokey Stick the Catalyzer. Smooth brain fool. Yeah. So I knew our spiders would get it in pretty much. Uh, could Pokey stick if he wants to cycle it. I think I will do it. I think I will. Okay, we got our Ionia card off. Uh, we don't have to play it this turn. Fine. Crawl Yard. I might tree this turn, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think I'm cannon and then I override a spider with a tree. Is the play. And hope it doesn't make our Froyard card. Could also cannon and then just Nar Pokey. Could give us a level Nar and that might be a better play actually, now that I think about it. We could just Pokey Nar actually. 
pokey stick um, into our Gnar, not play the cannon at all. Let us take a peek at life beneath the wave. Yeah, we'll start out with the Gnar. Uh, we'll start out with the pokey stick, actually. Gonna try bait him to burn more mana here. So he can't like easily remove our Gnar with like a Acolyte into a darkness. We're gonna just do this. <coughs> Here's the Acolyte. He can't play the Darkness because, you know, he burned the mana. Get a Buster Shot. Buster Shot just to do damage. Let's see. If everything goes through, it's gonna do 6, 7, 8. All damage. If he buster shot here, he threatened that. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Actually, this gets vulnerable, so we can um, we can pull it with our one one. Doesn't even get a good block. So not only are we threatening lethal here, but we're like very close to tree lethal as well. Oh wait, I meant to pull it like that. <clears throat> so, Senus? Oh no, we can't, he can't have to fetch Senus spell. He main deck is Whale? Yeah, Whale will Um, okay. That's perfectly fine. Kind of expected. So, we can cannon into Tree here. This gives us Ionia. I have studied every fighting manual. And then if you look at the deck tracker, you can see like, oh, we drew Kennen, that's Ionia, we need Shirima, because we only we still have two power turns, we need Targon. So those are the two regions. Oh wait, no, we played our Targon. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Um PNC, PNC, sorry. <clears throat> so yeah. Very easy to, to like kind of check it. And yeah, we can tree here. Um marks are pretty pointless. Like you can't it's technically optimal to use them in case you like play another cannon, but like you can just pass the save time if you really want to, honestly. <clears throat> so yeah, we need Demacia and we need Targon, or not Targon, PNZ. Sorry, keep missing that. And this is our PNZ card. Not did I see Demacia? What am I doing? Shurima, Shurima. I just think I'm I'm being dumb. Yeah, okay, you know what we need. Rima is the last one. And this gives us a draw, which is nice. We're also threatening, like, lethal. Like, just regular lethal. Which is kind of funny. Because <clears throat> he can't deal with both. He can't even deal with tree, probably. Like, no joke. Might be able to score sure if I our tree and win this game, but I'm not going to because that's trolling. Unless long PM. road behind, long road ahead. Could play a second tree. Can we just pass actually, right? If it's made of sand, I can light. Like yeah, just game. He has no landmark removal in the deck, or he shouldn't have any crumble unless he runs like crumble like the weirdo not one more family not one more soul darkness and light just keep passing get the bandle tree victory oh we actually got to see the animation you should do this ff Beautiful. Alright. That was a really nice game one. Really nice. Alright, we're up against Galio J4. Trellyord. What the heck is this stuff? I do not know. Um, I'll keep the our two drops and then we could mug in the rest, I don't really care. Okay. 
Um, two telescopes, kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. Mm, I'll take the Grumble Slug. Give us our, give us our Bilge card in case we don't draw another one. Our eyes lead to yeah, yeah. Make the stance swap. Kind of a whatever, honestly. No, unfortunate, I guess. Hmm. We can bomb your twins. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to aloof. Next. Uh, I might just do four games because that one wasn't really a game. I don't think he played a single card. Okay, this key took a bit long, um, but we're up against Conch, playing Pirate Aggro. Uh, group shots. Kind of good. Now Spider Sentry is kind of prime here, honestly. Um, kind of don't want the group shot. Kind of weird, but he has like a hand where he has all two health units. I don't really want it. Tree is really bad in opening hand. You won't get past me. Yeah, I was looking for cannon. But, I mean, these cards are prime to keep. That spider is amazing in this matchup. Uh, I don't know what he's thinking. <laughs> he's gonna attack with the one drop, like... Okay, ready. Like, are you debating not to attack? I think it's always house spider. Yeah, and I'm just gonna keep track on a dock. You know, I have Noxus and SI now. I mean, we don't have to we have this, but I think it's just good to have it on. <laughs> In a pass. If he opens, we happily double block and then pokey this later. Or just develop a house spider to block with the spider. <clears throat> if he develops, I'm pretty good sentry or even second house spider. Guys. But not that good. I might wish I had a block. That's kind of awkward, honestly. Um, I'll send this because I wanted to attack with the misfortune. Let's get to it. Hmm. Guns blazing. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to sack it, okay. We're gonna play Nar to put a bit of pressure. Give us a one mana pokey stick, which is pretty nice, honestly. Love ya. Think. There's no even if I drop Poppy, I'll play Nar still. There's no draw that makes me not want to play Nar. Maybe I'll see. Any more? Yeah, I just want to slap Mega, this down. Mega. I don't think he has a super wide hand. Otherwise, he would have played it. So if he goes wider than me, it's yeah. I don't. I just don't think he he goes wider than me here. <clears throat> we almost certainly leveled an R here, right? There's no way he blocks both of these. Blocking the NAR is already awkward Coming in itself. Hot! That doesn't scare me. This makes sense. I attacked it both because I could see him just blocking the NAR with the grenadier. And I want the NAR level up because there's just Snar stat line is just so good for blocking. That is Make really bad for me. for me. We're gonna tank more damage than I would like. <coughs> but if he doesn't, if he doesn't open, 
We have a pretty sweet house fighter. And he opens like a smart person. Sally, Nar has to die. She has to block. Mm, we can pull this later, so it's fine. Going down to 7 is not what I would really like, honestly. Really. Mini morphing doesn't do anything, which sucks. Going down to 3 really sucks. It is what it is. This hand's awkward, can't do anything about that, honestly. Uh, decimate, I lose. Fervor, I lose. We'll see. Uh, I guess I can take Link Silver. Could have taken my Ionia card, but it's kind of pointless. This card is not usually run in Pyre Aggro, so I was not expecting it. Uh, so usually our deck does like, okay. Does he have the burn? He probably does. <coughs> it sucks because we kind of just like instant lose to Fervor. I don't see a way out. We instant lose to Decimate. Keep up, keep up. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna pass just to pretend I have something. So that... Oh, I should have Buster Shot it, but no, no. I, I'm just gonna mini morph it. Buster Shotting that is asking to get Fervoid in the face. Uh, reporting in. I will bust. If he has Fervoid, we lose anyway, right? I like to avoid using mini morph on that. Might have to. Fortune favors the bold. Bam. Oh my god, are you serious? I just lose. I think I lost. Moon Silver Pokey for an out. Oh my god. Okay, ready. The dead don't need riches. Trying to think. I could use mini more plus pokey. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, we lost. Alright, that's fine. Kind of a little bit of cheese, but I mean, good addition. The decisive of maneuver. And a bit of a bad hand. A double tree, um, double mini more. Alright, um, this will be game four. Against. Trundle, Nar, the concurrent timelines deck. I don't want to keep any of this. Interesting hand.
pretty sure this deck doesn't run Aftershock. Well, I'm hoping at least. The standard deck doesn't. Or does it? Oh, okay. Let's start with Grumble Slug. Yeah, three attacks. So the standard deck does not run it. Oh no, it runs one of. Oh, that's awkward. Makes sense with all the tree going around though. Play twins. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. Sure, man. Let's just go really wide. Mm, I have an SI. Your opponent has more units than you. No. <laughs> well, there goes one of our trees. You dropped something. Quite I tragic. Everything. Quite tragic, but we do get a lot of damage in. Okay, not that much damage in now. <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 7, 7. Goes down to 11. 7, 11. <laughs> we do have like 6 regions, so that's cool. If we get like our other bandle trees. I kind of don't want to give him the draw here. So I will double group shot this. No, I won't. He probably has a response. <sighs> Guaranteed. I can flock it. Or not flock it, sentry it. Sentry should. Did I just get high rolled on? It will sentry this. And then we'll group shot this, because screw this. This is dumb. Uh huh. Actually, I don't really have that many spells in my hand anyway. But let's get rid of this. Hmm. Probably... It's probably... Twin... No, Charger. I mean, we just full attack. You like these odds? Goes down to 6. I like it. Kill the stony. I might actually win by overwhelming him this game with a unit. Nice to meet you. Ha! Earlier on eight is scary. <clears throat> Fuck is a good card. I don't mind using this. Wow, double cannon. Wait, why? What? Wait, why is he running Bull Elna? Huh? Okay. I have mastered the rain, lightning, and cloud So, with second cannon, we actually don't want to recall the cannon. We want to probably recall telescope. I 
kind of down just to like use this aggressively. Um, we'll mark the trundle first. The thing is, I don't want to like do anything. I kind of just want to open swing because he has like weird. Sorry. And I don't want him to ice pillar right now, so. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can kill him. What? Okay, he has like ice shard. Yeah. Mystic? Okay. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with this. <laughs> Wait, 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 fu- Uh, okay. <coughs> no, I'm not perfectly fine with it. <coughs> I messed up, I messed up, I know, I know, I know. I, know. I just realized what I did. I'm sorry for swearing. Uh. Let's go, grab my hat, comb my mustache! We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Oh boy. If he has buried in ice, I am dead dead. He's looking for it. Oh boy. We could play cannon and stun the trundle. Or if we just swing. Which I like. Because I don't One die. Do. Right, I think I enjoy not dying. Just kill me. God. It's aloof. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Okay, his highest card card, but mana card was a five mana. I don't want to deal with you. I do want a trickster. Ugh. But we'll do this first. You know, this puts a lot of pressure on him. This requires my largest official hat. Really dumb, but I have to do this first. Me, 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 so it summons me, the base. Cause I okay. He has to like top deck like some slow speed thing, right? Is it my logic? And Nar gives me a pokey stick, which also also does me one damage. But like I I did not expect this to be an L not there. But I think we won. Because he's playing Elnux. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, I messed up, but we got lucky. Yeah, I I, I know I should have <laughs> lightning rushed the Nexus, and then I would have won easier. But yeah, that's fine. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. See ya.